How to set up an altar. In this video, we give you some hints and tips on why it's useful to have an altar, where you can place it, and what types of things you can include. Stay to the end for our power tip, which will increase the energy of your spellcraft. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together, we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insights, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. What is an altar? An altar can be indoors or outside, wherever you're working your magic. It can be as simple as a few items on your mantelpiece or a tree stump, or as extravagant as you like. Your altar is your focal point. It's where you place your key items for your ritual the tools of your craft, upon it one of the four elements, and any deities you may be working with. Different magic systems have different correspondences and different approaches to setting up an altar. Some practitioners face north, some practitioners choose to face east. Others face the direction associated with the elements or energy they are wanting to work with. On your altar, it's good practice to place items relating to the four quarters, these being north, east, south and west, in the appropriate places on the table or surface. So it's useful to know which direction you are facing. Use a compass for this. There are also some good compass apps you can download for your phone. I work Kabbalistically and I face east. I have a lot of imagery that I place around me in my mind's eye. Each compass point has particular correspondences with specific energies. I work with elemental energies and archangels, which rule the compass points, and setting up an altar helps me to acknowledge these and build a relationship with them. I also place Hebrew letters and tarot cards around me in my mind, relating to the different directions, and I acknowledge certain spiritual energies seated in specific places around me. If I was to face a different direction, all of those images would be in the wrong order, and it would confuse me, so I prefer to set up my altar facing east with any items I used placed in the appropriate quarters of the table. I've had experience with a few different systems. I started off facing north, but I've switched to east, as most of my workings are with Cassandra. However, when I'm doing solitary work, I tend to face north. We encourage you to try different systems and see what feels right for you. Ritual tools and items for your altar. So following the idea that you want to acknowledge the four quarters, the main tools represent the four elements, air, fire, water and earth. In ceremonial magic, air is usually represented with a knife or a thane or athame. Fire is represented by a wand, water by a cup or chalice, and earth by a disc or pentacle. It's widely believed that these items are embedded in our subconscious as tools that would have been used in ancient times. The sword, the spear, the cauldron and the shield, respectively. Those of you who are familiar with tarot decks will recognise the link between the four elements and the suits of cards, being swords, wands, cups and discs or pentacles. Other items that you can place in your altar, a feather for air, an incense or candle for fire, a shell for water and a stone or crystal for earth. If you're working with a particular deity, then you can choose something that represents them. Some people like to use figurines or statues. It's really down to personal choice and finding what works for you. Make your altar purposeful. Have a reason for everything you place there, rather than it being just a collection of objects just because you like them. Decreasing clutter will make your magic more potent and clearer in your mind. Coming up is our power tip, which will enhance the power you create with your altar. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell for notifications. Alter power tip. Make your own tools if possible. Your energy will be in the actual item. They don't have to be great works of art, but the effort that goes into making them will create far more energy than anything mass produced. Don't feel that you need custom made items at the moment you start. Have it as a project you work as you hone your craft. You will find that your tools will also reflect your journey. Each and every person works differently. Don't be afraid to experiment and try different things. Check out the description below for a link to a free PDF download with more information on setting up an altar. It's a simple guide I give to my students, it's easy to follow, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Let us know what systems you use and how you set up your altar. We'd love to hear from you. Join our Raven Mystic community on social media. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.